Welcome back to the New York Jets franchise, everyone. Today, the Jets start division play and welcome the Miami Dolphins to MetLife Stadium. This season, the rushing game has improved for the Dolphins with Jermichael Bing starting to come into his own. And the passing attack with the addition of an outstanding rookie, Aaron Jackson, who's not unlike Rig Howard with hidden development and already making a good impact for Miami. Their strength, though, is on the defensive side of the ball. That happens to be littered with superstar talent. With right end Joshua Hayes, right outside linebacker Marvin Blades, cornerback Xavier Howard, and free safety Mika Fitzpatrick, there are plenty of places on the field that the Jets' offense needs to be concerned with and possibly avoid pushing the ball in their direction. The big question will be, can the Jets' offense have a measure of success against such a tribe of talent? And is the New York defense up to the challenge of stopping this Dolphins' offensive attack? Let's take you to the field as we get started with the Jets and the Dolphins on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Rashad Penny is back deep for the Dolphins, and Trent Lyons gets us underway here in MetLife. Penny takes a knee, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line, where the Dolphins will begin play. Up the middle goes Bing for a short gain. Only two yards on the play, and this is our first look at the offense of the Dolphins. Tunzel and Felix are the outside guys and make for a very strong offensive line for the Dolphins. Being caught in the backfield, Sheffield takes him down just a little bit early in the game to bring out that strut maneuver. I guess time will tell whether he's going to live up to that. Back to pass, over the middle, and it's incomplete. So it's three and out for the Dolphins. Now from the 40-yard line, pass over the middle to Arsenault is complete. An eight-yard gain to the 47, and Christian Wilkins is down for the Dolphins. That could make a big impact if he's out for any length of time. And Jackson breaks free up the middle, out to the left, and all the way into the end zone. A 53-yard touchdown run. So on their very first drive, New York scores and makes this a 7-0 football game. Rosen and company back out on the field at the 25-yard line, out of the shotgun. The ball is given to Bing, out to the left side numbers and out to the 30-yard line, where it'll be second and five. Bing on the counter play, met in the hole by Ja'Kai Polite. That's a three-yard loss, and Rosen throws it into the dirt on the screen play. And that means fourth down and a punt upcoming. Hawk punts it away. Howard fields it at the 27 with some speed. Makes it all the way back inside a Dolphin territory at the 41-yard line. On second and 10, Darnold drifts out to the right, throws, and Arsenault's arms just aren't that long. A little bit strong on the pass from Darnold. And here's our look at the starting lineup for the defense on the Dolphins' side of the field. Blades in the middle of the field. Howard and Fitzpatrick, the stars in the secondary. Throwing long. Darnold trying to get it to Arsenault and can't do it. That brings up fourth down and a punt. Rosen out of the shotgun, fakes it to Bing, and that one is complete. Frank Fleck with the first down out to the 36-yard line. Now on second and six, Bing with the carry up the middle, has the first down yardage, fights, spins, and is to midfield before he's stopped. 
Once again, it's Bing up the middle, and he gets to the 44-yard line before he stopped. Dr. Michael Bing having a little bit of success, and this time a pass is incomplete, almost intercepted by Robert Ramirez. That'll give the ball back to the Jets, but in very poor field position at the 15. And Howard grabs it for the first down out at the 31. Darnold throwing, and Arsenal catching for a first down to the 42. Now with about two minutes left in the first quarter, Jackson takes it out to the left side numbers and gets to the 48. Third and three. Jacobs with the handoff and is stopped short of the sticks. Fourth and two. Marvin Blades getting the credit for the stop. That gives the Dolphins another shot before the end of the quarter. And Bing takes it to the 28-yard line for a five-yard pickup. Rosen back to pass on third down. And what a move. Aaron Jackson makes a cut and is out in the open all the way to the end zone. Jamal Adams chasing after him, but just not fast enough to catch up. Miami picked up and what seems to be in this season so far an outstanding pick in the second round out of Tennessee, Aaron Jackson. And he takes it to the house on this play. You see him there on the replay working in the slot, absolutely faking out Marcus May. And that juke just absolutely put him out in the open, and it was good by. 7-7, and the Jets complete this one out to Howard to the 39-yard line. Darnold passing again to Herndon out to the 44. Five-yard pickup. Dropping back, Darnold has a rare all-day moment in the backfield and completes this one to Herndon. And you can see what happens if he has plenty of time to find his receivers. He can get the ball downfield in a hurry. Now from the 36. And that time, time ran out. Chandler Simon comes on a safety blitz and that's all for Donald. Third and 12. The pass over the middle is knocked away. Archer getting a hand on that ball. Olsen punts it away. And it lands and dies inside the five. At the three yard line in after multiple three and outs, the Dolphins have the ball, third and seven at the 11 yard line, and this one is complete. Zay Jones out to the 37. What a play, we thought that the Dolphins were gonna have to punt again, and here that's a completion, and another one to Frank Fleck at the 49 yard line. That brings us to the two minute warning where your score is still seven apiece. Out of the shotgun. The screen pass to Bing. He has the first down a little more as he gets inside the 40 to the 37. On the shotgun again. This is complete to Gasicki and he rumbles his way into the end zone. Touchdown Miami. Rosen just lobbed it up over the defense and Gasicki was in the right place at the right time and takes it all the way into the end zone. A minute and a half left. Can the Jets put anything on the board? A screen pass. Oh, a nice move to split the defenders. And Jackson is out to midfield. Pass again. This time almost intercepted. Darnold making the mistake of throwing it Howard's way. And this time he is sacked. Joshua Hayes making the tackle and forcing the punt. 
So just over a minute left for the Dolphins. Rosen hit in the backfield, coughs the ball up, but the Dolphins jump on top of it. Hubbard making the initial contact, being up the middle, has room, and is out to the 27, and that will take us to halftime with your score, 14 to seven, Miami. Now for a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. The Jets are definitely having a hard time moving the football, only putting together just over 130 yards of offense. So the Dolphins defense is doing its job containing Sam Darnold and company. Once again, Darnold is having trouble dealing with the pressure created by the Miami defensive line. The New York defense seems to be doing an adequate job of stopping the run. It's just the passing attack of the Dolphins is having detrimental effects on the Jets' secondary. Big plays like 72 and 37-yard touchdowns will mean that New York now needs to play a very clean second half in order to win here at home. Although this was a short week for these teams, it didn't stop the Jets from negotiating a long-term contract with center Joey Sanders. The Jets have him wrapped up for five years and with incentives could make just over $46 million. Right outside linebacker Demarcus Faulkner, who is still on his rookie contract, has improved to an 80 overall, with a boost to his run-stopping abilities. Will that help the defense here as we approach the second half? Stay with us to find out as we continue here in East Rutherford in a moment. Welcome back everyone to MetLife Stadium. The lack of offensive production has been the story so far for the Jets as they trail this one 14 to seven. Have the Jets made the necessary adjustments at the break? A big factor is giving Sam Darnold time to operate without the pressure that he's been under. If he can't make some very clean throws, it could be a long second half for the Jets. Let's find out as the second half gets underway. The Jets have it at their own 26-yard line. Darnold drops back and lets it fly, complete to Arsenal. A big gainer out to the 49-yard line. A 25-yard pass play to the man that's trying to take the place of an outstanding receiver, John Ross. And Jackson takes it up the hash marks on the left to the 41. Third and two, and Darnold goes down in the arms of Derek Barnett. That ends this New York drive, and Bing is 14 rushes, 42 yards, uh, so he's being held in check pretty decent by the defense of the Jets. This one complete to Gasicki, and he's out to the 43-yard line. The tight end possession is one that Rosen makes very good use of. Bing up the middle, and he's to the 48-yard line. Now third and three. The pass complete. Jackson over the middle, first down. Penny gets the handoff, and there is Demarcus Faulkner. Wow. Showing off a little bit of that speed off the right side of the defensive line. So third and 13, pass is complete. Jackson can't make it to the first down sticks. So out comes Jeffries, and he puts up a 50 yarder and it's good. 17 to seven, Miami has a 10 point lead now. Darnold back to pass, throws over the middle, complete to Herndon. And he's out to the 47 yard line. Back to pass again, Darnold. Completing it to Arsenal to the 40 yard line inside Dolphin territory. Miami seeing a lot of pass plays. This one complete to Howard and he's inside the 15 to the 14 yard line. The Jets make it into the red zone. Darnold back to pass, throws, complete. Howard, touchdown, New York. Rig Howard 
with his first career touchdown catch as a Jet. Somehow I think they made a pretty good trade with the Broncos in order to get him. 42 seconds left in the third. Bing, up the middle, fights his way to the 32 yard line. Bing the lone setback. And this one is thrown out to Jackson and Mason is there for the stop in the backfield. So third and seven. And too much pressure. Rosen can't get the ball off. Throws the screen pass in the dirt. Donald throws it on second down. Complete to McLaurin. And he's inside Dolphin territory at the 45. And Barnett is injured and on the sideline, so it looks like he is going to be okay. Again, Darnold with the pass over the middle, caught by Arsenault. A seven yard pickup, third and three, and Jackson picks up the first down up the middle to the 28 yard line. Darnold throws another screen pass and Jacobs takes it inside the 15 and finally tackled at the 11. So at the moment, some of that pressure by the defensive line of the Dolphins is coming back to bite him. Darnold goes to the end zone, broken up by Howard, and he continues to try and go that direction, and he can't get it to his receivers, Howard, Takes it to the six yard line where Lyon will come out and put through the 23 yard field goal. And that makes it 17 apiece. Tied up with six and a half to go in this game. Bing with the carry. Fine weaves his way through the line and out into the open all the way down to the 35 yard line finally tackled julian love on the stop now on third and eight rosen in the backfield almost intercepted oh that could have been so nice adams will kick himself for that one and jeffries pushes that out to the right and it's no good with 5.20 left in the game. Darnold, 17 of 28 for 245 yards and a touchdown. He needs to drive the Jets down the field and that is a decent start, not outstanding. To completion to Herndon. Back to pass again. And a completion to Arsenal inside Dolphin territory. Tackled at the 42. Darnold drops back, can't find anybody open. Takes off and runs all the way inside the 25 yard line. First down, Jets. In the shotgun formation, another screen play. And this one is sniffed out. Jerome Baker making the stop. All alone, Darnold. Throws over the middle, and Arsenal can't hold on to that. It's fourth down. Lyon in for a 40-yard field goal down the middle, and it's 20-17. to 17. The Jets have taken the lead in the football game. Two minutes left. Can they hold on for the victory? Rosen back to pass. Completes it to Jones for the first down. And that'll take us to the two minute warning. Rosen, back to pass again. Completes this one to Jackson to the 44 yard line. Now in the hurry up offense. And Gasicki with the catch at the 49. All day long, Rosen has in the backfield. Finally, dumps it off to Bing for a five yard gain. Back to pass again. All day to throw this ball. And finally finds Yasiki downfield. 
And that takes him to the 26. Back to pass, Rosen over the middle. And finding Gesicki again, takes it to the four yard line. Bing on the screen, and he's in there for the touchdown. Miami pulls out in front with less than 20 seconds left on the clock. That two minute drill by Miami here was just plain textbook. Seems to me that the Jets played a little bit too soft of a defense viewing that they were only ahead by a field goal. 15 seconds left, a throw long and incomplete intended for Justin Jackson. Donald from the shotgun. Throw, no, he gets caught in the backfield. Third and 15, three, two, caught again by Joshua Hayes and that ends the football game. I thought New York was going to be able to pull this one out, but they just left a little bit too much time on the clock as they took over the lead with just over two minutes left. And a very soft defense allowed Miami to march down the field. And once they were in field goal range for Jeffries, the Jets just couldn't stop the Dolphins from scoring with under 20 seconds left. That just wasn't enough time for this offense to operate. New York, with the absence of John Ross, isn't quite the quick strike offensive threat that they are with him in the game. I was a little surprised that the Jets didn't have a little more success moving the ball since Darnold didn't throw any interceptions in this game. But at only 58% complete, he was definitely having problems getting the ball to his money makers. I would think that some of that had to do with the strength of the Miami defense, but when it comes down to it, he needs to find a way to get around that obstacle. Josh Rosen had himself a really good game with 73% complete, three touchdowns, and almost a 140 passer rating for the night. He just wasn't being contained at all. Aside from that 53-yard touchdown run, the Jets' rush was held in check tonight. On the other hand, Jermichael Bing just passed the century mark for the Finns and gave Miami a solid threat from both the pass and the rush. As far as the defense was concerned, they really let things slip in the final two minutes of the game. Up until that point, they only allowed Miami three points in the second half and looked like they would be able to hang on for the win. That was not to be the case, though. The big story of the night was, again, the pressure that Miami was inflicting on Darnold. There's a reason why Joshua Hayes is a superstar talent, and he proved it tonight, overpowering Seth Smith for three sacks on the evening. He even going through Justin Jackson, a second man, <laughs> to get to Darnold on, at, at one point. Well, next up, it's a bye week for the Jets, so let's hope they can relax, heal, and rejuvenate just a bit because they now occupy the bottom spot in the AFC East. And to be fair, this division is the strongest in the league. After four weeks, the Bills, Patriots, and Dolphins occupy the three top spots in the AFC, period. The Jets will have to make some changes if they want to be contenders for another postseason run. To start, they'll be facing these same Dolphins, only this time in Miami Gardens at Hard Rock Stadium. They've had a chance to see some of the weaknesses of the Dolphins in the first game, <laughs> but the issue is that Miami has seen New York's weaknesses as well. The offense will still be without John Ross and will need to find a way to get the ball downfield without him if they plan on taking a win out of Miami. That's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, 
And remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. The Jets let this game slip away from them in the final two minutes. Now that they need to grind out some wins in order to be a threat in this strong division, will some changes be made that will get them there? The pressure on Darnold is great, but getting the ball out quicker may help that situation. Is that something that Sam will work on for the next couple of weeks before they make a second attempt for a win against the Dolphins? To find out, be with us for the Jets and the Dolphins round two from Hard Rock Stadium on Monday Night Football. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.